So this project-based learning cycle, we wanted to focus on waste disposal within Gibraltar. So we started with our big entry event, which was taking the children to the civic community site on the east side. And we were accompanied by um, Sarah Fremer from the Department of, of the Environment. The project that we did today was actually quite fun because we went to the civic community site and we saw all um, the stuff that could be recycled. Uh, so when we came back to school, the children were then encouraged to ask the questions to see what problems that they could think of relating to the recycling which they could um, attack in school. Um, and essentially the children decided that paper was not being properly um, disposed of, that it was being wasted. My favourite thing about this um, project was making the paper. So you, you took old paper and you made new paper? Yeah. A fantastic activity that Sarah did with the children in the playground was to show how much waste we ourselves um, put in the bins. Plants and apples and like stuff like that, biodegrade. And tissue is one of them because mm -hmm. tissue is made from wood and wood is a natural thing. But things that don't biodegrade like metals, plastic, stuff like that, stays the exact same for years and years. The landfill has, um, it's very deep, so we can put a lot of rubbish in there, but it's not very good for the animals and the people because some of the gases that are from the landfill sites go into the air and it's poisoned. And through the process of sorting um, the rubbish, they saw how much there was a huge pile of recycling and very little actual food that should have gone into the bins. Um, and that's a real wake-up call for them. Every time they put um, something into the recycling bins, it goes to the recycling. When that happens, they turn it into new and better things. With this project-based learning approach is the hope that the children have really taken on board the knowledge and sort of owned the topic in a way that will have a meaningful impact on, on their lives now going forward. That's absolutely what it's all about um, and what we find is that it allows the children to have the practical experiences, there's research involved, and they are guiding the learning so you're, you're getting high levels of engagement. Everybody gains so much from it that I, I firmly believe that it is the way forward. We ask you all to please make a little change that will make a big difference. Together we can be the best. Yours truly, St. Bernard's First School, EFU.